Welcome to United Sharia Kingdom, where a non-Muslim man was bullied out of eating his lunch during Ramadan and a hadith was posted on the train station platform list. This is a crazy Sharia takeover happening right now in the UK. Hey guys and welcome back to Somali Christian TV. We are your favorite Somali ex-Muslims spreading Christianity and exposing the deception of Islam. If you want to learn more, subscribe and join the family. I'm your host Naomi and let's get straight into it. Ramadan is upon us yet again, ladies and gentlemen, the month where Muslims are fasting to get closer to Allah. But year on year, it gets more and more apparent just how adamant some Muslims are for the Sharia takeover in the UK. It's seriously concerning. I know you guys remember the Sharia for UK video that was circulating. Well now, a video surfaced of a non-Muslim British man who was bullied out of eating his lunch in front of his Muslim colleagues. Check out this clip. Look at this kufar. Everybody's on Ramadan. I know, I actually feel bad for eating. <laughs> and this guy's, I'm glad you put this on, why not? This guy's stuffing nah, his face. Up, bro, up, up. <laughs> this guy stop. just, he just sat here stuffing his face. It truly breaks my heart to see what appears to be a sweet guy stopping himself from eating lunch in front of everybody because they are observing Ramadan. Clearly he's trying to appear respectful, but he's having the Sharia police bullying him to stop. He's not even Muslim. The insidious part of this video comes from the guy recording him. He calls him a kuffar stuffing his face. Look at this kuffar. He just sat here stuffing his face. The man recording clearly has no respect for him and certainly not the same respect that the guy eating his lunch had. This is a true face of Islam. You could argue, oh he's joking. No, kuffar or kafir is no joke. This is a word for disbelievers in Islam. Islam has no tolerance against disbelievers. If you're a non-Muslim watching this, this is what Muslims are being taught to think about you in the mosque and online. Non-Muslims are to be shown no respect and this is shown in 489. They wish you would disbelieve as they disbelieved so you would be alike. So do not take from among them allies until they emigrate for the cause of Allah. But if they turn away, then seize them and kill them wherever you find them and take not from among them any ally or helper. Muslims therefore cannot be friends with non-Muslims. So clearly in the video, it's not a joke. Now, from pressure, the man may even start fasting when he's at work and the colleagues may start trying to convince him of what a beautiful and holy time Ramadan is. I'm so sorry, but nothing beautiful or holy comes from a religion made by an actual pedo who married a six-year-old and consummated the marriage when she was nine. Even in the video he writes, rather than criticizing or ridiculing other religions, we should seek to learn from them and find common ground. I mean, is the man behind the camera not doing the criticizing and ridiculing in this case? Saying he's stuffing his face and calling her a kafir? And then pressuring him to stop eating? Seriously, this video disgusts me. Zero respect. Then it was recently reported that commuters going to work in London were greeted with this hadith of the day. I seriously wish I was joking. It reads, The Prophet Muhammad said, All the sons of Adam are sinners, but the best of the sinners are those who repent. Out of all the hadiths, they knew to pick that one and not any of the disgusting things it was reported that Muhammad did. <clears throat> Sahih al-Bukhari 5134 I know the aim is to foster an inclusive society and to make everyone feel welcomed, but when the relations between the non-Muslim communities and Muslim communities are kind of tense right now, this serves as a reminder for people to say, Oh, they're taking over is being shoved in our faces. So I seriously feel like this is not the right move. Plus, Ramadan can be for many Muslims and ex-Muslims a pretty difficult time. As an ex-Muslim, I know this story well. For some Muslims, they have to fake it to not be detected as a kafir and therefore have their lives threatened. As Muhammad said, whoever changes his religion kill him. It's not a peaceful religion. But what about the ex-Muslims who want to feel safe in the UK? They may now feel like Islam is everywhere and feel unsafe. The UK is not a Muslim country, so what is going on? People always say, if they don't like it here in the UK, then why don't they just leave? No, extremists don't want to leave because they want Sharia right here. They want to slowly take over until they're the majority and they have won. And then you have to either pay tax or jizya as it's called, whilst being subdued or be... If they refuse, then... But it doesn't have to be this way. The UK can go back to their Christian roots and openly allow the worship of the God of love, 
the real God, the only one who is worthy to be worshipped. Jesus says in Matthew 28, 19, Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. I urge you, our viewer, our Somali Christian TV family, to reach out to a Muslim and pray for them in the name of Jesus. These Muslims in the UK are not a lost cause. They too can have their lives forever changed by having a personal relationship with Jesus and being saved. God bless you all. So there you guys have it. What do you guys think? Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to like this video, share and comment your thoughts down below. Please find the links to our Patreon and PayPal if you want to further support our ministry and please subscribe. See you all next time. I love you guys. Bye.